Hello, hey, I'm Ron with Ideal Industries. Hey, in this video, I'd like to talk about the Ideal Signal Tech 2 tester, and specifically its ability to test these IP camera systems. You know, system integrators have had a real challenge over the years when we test and try to troubleshoot these really pretty powerful mix of infrastructure components we're going to need in order to support a pretty bandwidth-hungry IP camera system. Now, parts of this system is actually the cabling itself. We'd like to make sure it supports, say, gigabit Ethernet. And then also at the end of those wires, we need to make sure we have enough power left over to support our power over Ethernet or power over Ethernet plus device itself. And then we also need to check those IP version 4 or IP version 6 IP connections. And then lastly, you might want to check to make sure your high capacity network equipment can actually support all these cameras you're about ready to install, which is kind of critical. Now, the SignalTech 2 tester will test and troubleshoot all these critical infrastructure components and their functions for you that we're going to need, again, to make sure this IP camera system actually stays up and running. Now, I'll refer you to the first video on testing of cables with the SignalTech 2 tester for that first bullet there. But on those last three, let's move over to the shop, and I'll show you actually how to use the SignalTech 2 tester to test those IP camera systems. Here's a close-up view of the ideal SignalTech 2 tester. You know, power over Ethernet is the most common method for powering IP cameras, and some require higher PoE+. You know, and testing and troubleshooting can sometimes be a little bit of a challenge. SignalTech 2 Tester can actually help you out in a couple different ways. First, on the home screen, you'll know if PoE is actually available because it shows it to you right there on the screen. Now, additionally, you can actually test that PoE source to determine actually how much power is actually available, which is kind of critical in making sure this camera is actually going to work. Now I'll run the load test, and you can see that the PoE injector I'm connected to shows me what pairs PoE is available on, and the voltage level, the current in milliamps, and how many watts are actually available. Now I can test at the end of a long cable to make sure enough power is getting to the end of the cable to support my IP cameras. IP connectivity is critical for IP cameras to actually work, and SignalTech 2 allows me to make sure this camera location is connected to the network, and make sure my NVR is recording, and my video clients are actually online. Now I can also make sure I can reach my cloud storage from here. Now the ping and trace route capabilities built into this tester are going to help me do this. Now I plug my SignalTech 2 into a network at this camera location and I can actually ping my server and internet router from here. It also allows me to test these connections using both IP version 4 and IP version 6. IP cameras really consume a lot of network bandwidth as well and some networks really just aren't prepared to support all these IP cameras. Now, SignalTech 2 allows me to pre-qualify this network and see if it has actually enough capacity to support these cameras I plan on installing. Now, I can configure a profile by selecting the number and types of cameras I plan on deploying, and then I can actually run that amount of bandwidth to, between two points on this network to see if all the video data actually gets through and see exactly how much of it didn't. Now, this is going to help me know if I need to make any changes to the system before deploying all these IP cameras. Now, the SignalTech 2 will also track and organize all your test data by job and actual test location. Now, results can easily be downloaded, viewed, and printed via a web browser. And reports provide a basic pass-fail summary as individual test results per cable. Now, I can actually use those reports for as-built documentation as we're actually installing the system and also references for troubleshooting events later down the road. Now, in summary, the SignalTech 2 allows me to test and troubleshoot the critical infrastructure components that I need in order to support this high bandwidth IP camera installation. And that's namely the cabling in the wall, make sure it supports, say, gigabit Ethernet. We want to consistently make sure we have power over Ethernet delivery to all these cameras, and reliably look at the IP version 4 and IP version 6 connections. And then lastly, actually make sure the high capacity network equipment can actually support these cameras. Now, I'd encourage you to use the SignalNet 2 tester on your next installation, and I think you'll confidently install that next IP camera system.